Okay, we're doing protractor practice, page one here. Um, first, we're going to try to measure an angle. And I can measure this angle. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see my protractor here, but putting the, uh, you know, the midpoint of the long side on the vertex and then measuring over to here. Uh, and it looks like this is right about 20 degrees. Um, I put the, I, I'm measuring this part against the, the long part because it's the longest part of the angle. If I wanted to measure this part, I'd have to extend it with a dotted line. Uh, but this one's here for me, so I didn't need to. Now I'm going to measure the next angle. I'm going to do, actually neither of them is long enough, so I'm going to take the longer one here and extend it using a dotted line, and then I used a straight edge there to do that. So I put the vertex up against that, and it looks like um, my angle is past 90 to 135 degrees. Okay, I want to draw a 22 degree angle next, so I'm going to start with a straight line using the straight edge of the, of the protractor to help me do that, and then measure from there up, and uh, I'm a little too far over here. Measure from there up to 22 degrees and put down a point, and then connect. So that should be about 22 degrees. Uh, here I want to draw a second line segment so that the ray bisects the angle between the two segments. So I need a second one over here so that these two angles are equal, which means I first need to measure this one. Uh, looks like these are a little bit short, so I'm going to go ahead and extend this out. Uh, it's a little difficult for me to, to get this on this, you know, everything lined up exactly right with the, uh, with the computer screen. So you should be able to have even better accuracy than I have put the protractor at the vertex here and count over 10, 20, looks like 26 degrees. So I want 26 degrees over here. I'll place that. 10, 26 degrees right about there and then draw that in. Oops, I missed it. A little too far over. Okay, it's just a touch large, but my protractor is not playing nicely with the screen, so that's as well as I can do. Draw a perpendicular to the segment through the point indicated. The easiest way to do this, you might be tempted to put your protractor down like this and measure up to 90, and that'll work, but then you You'll have to put a dot and then shift your protractor again this way so that you can use it as a straight edge. So why not go ahead and put your protractor here, and then that's 90 degrees there, and you can just use your protractor itself uh, as a straight edge. That's a great way to get these, um, to just get a sort of generic perpendicular line drawn. Yeah. yeah, again, protractor not playing nicely with the screen because it's made of metal. Okay, now we want to draw a segment uh, normal to the line, which would be uh, normal is another word for perpendicular, so I'm going to use my uh, protractor here to draw that normal. Right? So this is the 90 degree angle. And then draw a second ray so that the angle between the rays is bisected by the normal, which means I want this angle to equal this angle on this side. So I'm going to have to extend this ray out so that I can measure the angle accurately. Looks like it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe 52 degrees. So I'm going to have to place my place my dot there and then what this is really looking like is a reflected one so I'm going to make this ray go in and that ray go out so I had a reflected ray and I'm drawing the incident ray that's kind of what we're what we're preparing for there